Okay, and my third and final video for tonight is going to be about a dinky. Yes, I thought that I had had enough dinkies, but I had my eye on this dinky when Coach had, the Coach retail store had their sale like 50% off. It seemed like it was 50 plus something off. Um, but anyway, yeah, they were like marked down and then there was an additional 50% off of a marked down price. And I came across because there's a lady in, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. And one of the Coach Gone Rogue groups that had this bag and I had my eye on it and could not find it anywhere after I passed it up in the uh, store. And she told me to call the outlet in Chicago. I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Ooh. It is called Chicago Premium Outlets. And I called there, and sure enough, oh, sorry about the noise. They did have one left, but the lady there, her name was Rong, R O N G told me that it had a few scratches on it, but she didn't think that it was that bad. But uh, she would, oh, I didn't even show you guys. It was wrapped so nicely in this paper, so tight and nicely in this paper. And she also put it in this nice foam. I've never seen packing done so nicely from the outlet. Ron said that she would take a look at it and go over it with some leather conditioner, but she said she's has um, dinkies in this same glove tan leather. I hate to open it because it looks so nice. Um, in the same glove tan leather that had scratches on it and she was able to buff them out. And to be honest, I bought one off of eBay that had a few scratches and the price was really, really low because of the scratches, but I got it home and was able to buff it out. So I said I'm going to go ahead and get it, but I was really sad because I was like, it's a bag that I wanted. And then here I am getting it with scratches on it. And it is not bad at all. Do you see that? Not bad at all. This is the dinky in the color vermilion. Glove tan dinky. It has XB. I don't know what that stands for. And the color is vermilion. Do you see that? And I don't know if you can see, but I have one that's like this in the color Primrose. And I chose, although I had my eye on this one, I picked up the Primrose. And then I ended up with like two other bags that are in that same type of pinky, lavenderish color. And so then I was wishing that I got this one. It doesn't come with a chain strap, but I do have a spare chain strap. So that's okay. And let's see. I really don't mind this little leather strap, though. Um, I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not, but it has glitter on the, what do you call this? The edge paint. The edge paint has glitter in it. So, again, I'm using a new phone. Not sure about the focus. Testing it out. And let's hold that up close there. Can you see that glitter? Hopefully you can. And let me show you the inside. It's metallic. And my other in Primrose is the same. And yes, it came with the dust bag. That's so nice. And it's got the little kiss lock coin purse in there. With all the stuff. So that's good. And I'm sure everybody knows what the setup of a dinky is like. With that pocket there does say genuine glove tan leather right there no feet on dinkies and then an exterior pocket here and then it's got the little hang tag with the same metallic leather on the back of it so yes I really really wanted to add this one to my collection but the, being that I wasn't sure what condition it was going to come in I called around and let me stuff this in here really quick. Found another one actually at the outlet 
in Short Hills, New Jersey. And the reason why I did that is because she said that there was going to be scratches on it and I was hoping that it wasn't going to be in bad condition. Do you see what just happened? Now imagine if I carried that somewhere. Everyone normally has problems mm -hmm. with the little hang tags falling off and it just fell mm -hmm. off. But I'm going to crimp I'm going to crimp it tighter so that that doesn't happen again. That happened to me once when I was out shopping at the outlet and I didn't notice it and just when I gave up and said, "Well, I'm never going to find it." There it was in the street and I found it. So I made sure and crimped it down so that it doesn't ever fall off again. But what I was telling you was that I wasn't sure what condition that one was going to come in. So I hunted another one. And this one I got from the outlet in Short Hills, New Jersey. Came all packaged up and this big old box. <laughs> Can you all see that? How big this box is? And... I'm not really going to open it up because I want to keep it nice for whoever gets it. It's the same exact bag and it's still wrapped up in the plastic. I know that this part was opened once before because I can tell how that it looks like it was handled, but the bag is still has all the paper on the chain and everything. So I'm going to leave it in its perfect condition for whoever gets it because I'm going to end up either selling it if someone wants to buy it or returning it because I did pay a little bit more for the one that came from the retail store. I thought that that was pretty odd that they were still selling them at the retail store for one price and at the outlet for about $30 less. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that I got one in good condition, so I'm definitely keeping the one that I got from the outlet. I'm happy to be able to add this uh, Vermilion Dinky to my collection of about, how many dinkies do I have? I think that box is full of dinkies and I have dinky ears as well. So maybe I have about six full size dinkies and then about four dinky ears. So maybe I'll do a dinky collection video one of these days just so I can show you all that I have. But that's it, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.